Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to the first edition of the Baron cast. This is Baron and today we're going to be talking about modernity. Yes, modernity. Defined as the quality or condition of being modern or a modern way of thinking, working, etc. Contemporariness. That's the dictionary definition for you, but personally I would define it as the current year. I'm sure every one of us knows what that means. So, now before we expand on that, let's cover something called cyclical history. This is to lay the foundations of this video. So, hard men make good times, good times make weak men, weak men make bad times, and bad times make hard men. Right, let that sink in for a bit. Right. Now, where do you think modernity is in that four-step cyclical history? We are at that point where weak men are actively trying to build bad times. That's where we are right now. That's modernity. That is the current year. People nowadays are so spoiled and weak and complacent, leading to shit like feminism, you know, leading to shit like cockery, and hell, leading to shit like the MRA movement. You know, it's all two sides to the same coin, all the same sides. You know, it's just different, a different theme. But they're generally all talking about the same thing. Spoilage, that's what it is. Idle hands are the devil's plaything, after all. But that's human nature, you know. That's human nature, and if we are we are wired to hate, you know. And now that we've reached this point, this modernity, this current year, we have nothing to complain about, nothing tangible. But these two people in the first row, they have nothing tangible to complain about. Very comfortable in their in their ivory towers and that shit, they have nothing left to complain about but this you know, all of this stupid shit, vegans animal rights activists you know and everyone seems to make a habit of using their skeletons to show how special they are you know, all the skeletons that should be kept in the fucking closet they're bringing it out this it's that bad you know it's become that bad everyone is so spoiled and so idle everyone tries to be so edgy and that everyone just you know no nothing is sacred anymore i think that statement pretty much catches the essence of modernity nothing is sacred and that's why the left has become such a strong lobby. That's exactly why. Because the point of the left wing is to lower everybody's standards so that the new world would reflect theirs, their beliefs, their ideals. And their ideals are, you know, uh, anti-establishment, which means they want to they want to lower everyone's standards. They want to ruin everyone's fun. They want everyone to wallow in the same dirt that they do. Right? And all of this, oh, I'm going to bring this out of the closet so that everyone gives me attention. That fucking trend is exactly why the left is so strong nowadays. You know? Is that ev everyone la laying out their dirty laundry. That's exactly how the left does their business. Right? They want to lower everyone's standards to the point that nobody can resist anymore. Nobody can resist their new order of degeneracy. Their That's what they want. That's what the left wants. And the best way to combat that is to not give them the attention that they want. They're doing it to be edgy, like we are. Or like I am, at least, sometimes. You know, I do things to be edgy sometimes. It gets, gets me fucking zucked every now and again. But I don't do it to lower people's standards. I do it to raise people's standards. You see the difference? The left does it to lower standards. We do it to raise standards. 
what sounds better to you? Well, in any case, the conclusion is that the modern world is whack. It allows us to pursue whatever we want, sure. And since that's the case, you know, we raise standards, they lower standards, right? So we should pursue a path that puts us above all of that bullshit, all of that petty fucking bullshit, you know, that people do to get attention, people do to lower your standards. Try and do something better with your time. Don't sell yourself out to the narrative. You know, have your o develop your own independent mind, a sovereign patrician mind, regardless of the noise that's going on. You know, the regardless of all the edginess that's going on in the modern world, modernity is fucked up. You know, and you should ride the tiger, as Julius Evola would say. Right? Become great despite of the shit quality of modernity. Take the good, which is the freedom, and leave the bad, which is the edginess. Become great. Disregard everything else. It's noise. That's my opinion on modernity. <laughs>